This video is going to be a little bit shorter from what we normally post, but another zombies pathing glitch has been discovered on Forsaken. This was tweeted at me by sad quotes on Twitter and the original TikTok is by Razzle. I have both their ads on screen, but we're going to be hopping into Forsaken and seeing if this works. So in the past, there has been a few glitches here on Forsaken that make it really easy to grind camos. So previously here on Forsaken, there was a glitch where if you stand on a certain part of a bridge, all the zombies will just pile up next to you and they won't throw any of their, their guts or their meat at you or whatever. They won't damage you, they'll just stand there and sit and let you get some easy kills, easy camos. Like it was the perfect thing to use for grinding like snipers in zombies. So once we get enough cash, we're gonna head over there and see if it works. And I don't know how long it's gonna be in the game for. Last time there was a pile up glitch on this map, it was patched within like a week, maybe two. So if you really gotta get stuff done, I would try to do this as fast as possible. All right, I think we have enough money. Let's move on out of spawn. We're gonna hop through here, get this door opened up, head up the stairs and our spot should be right through this portal if i'm not mistaken and from the video what i saw if you stand right over here oh i saw it there for a second it kind of pushed me off you have to get like the perfect spacing if you go ahead and stand right here in this corner back up just a little oh i had it there for a second so this thing does actually work it's all about finding the sweet spot this is crazy and for second has been out for how long like months i'm surprised this is just now getting discovered again just want to point out I'm not the one that discovered this. I'll put their ads on the screen right here. Let's see if we can find the sweet spot. Oh, it just keeps sliding me off. You gotta be real careful going up there. Let's stun the zombies so they can stay back so we can try this. We'll go right here. Zombie back up. Almost there. There we go. We got it. All the zombies just completely stop moving. Look, hands are up. Nothing's going on here. Every zombie has gone still. The one bad part about this thing that I'm seeing is that you have to go and train all the zombies up and then very carefully get to the sweet spot back here. But if zombies are spawning out this window, those are easy kills. There's another zombie spawn down here you can get to. So you're going to need uh, maybe even a two times scope here. This is really cool. I didn't think we'd see another pile of glitch in Cold War. So if you guys got camos to do, now is the time. I wonder if there's a way we can make this more efficient. Let's try switching to Frenzied Guard. Okay, the second we step out of here, did they come at me? Are they all still? Yep, they start moving. Actually, first thing we're going to try, what happens if I'm already sitting in the spot when the round starts? I have no doors open. The TV place isn't open. The cinema isn't open. The arcade isn't open. Let's see how these spawns react. It looks like they're still heading towards me. I need to back up a little more. There we go. We only need to take a one hair step back. Now, what happens if I use my field upgrade? Does that make them walk towards me? No. This is sick. What happens if I throw a decoy down? Do they follow the decoy? Oh, they do. Okay, so I can get them to move where I want to. Let's toss one towards the stairs. Will that grab those guys? It will. Oh, so mule kick could be kind of crazy up here. If we can just get like unlimited decoys. And if we got those zombies, there's another spawn back here that we can't see. So what if we throw a decoy down here? Will the other zombies from that side come over? They will. Okay. You may just grind out rounds here. All right, now let's see how many zombies we can get to just hang out up here. All right, we have like a whole round's worth of zombies over here. I'm going to throw a decoy down in that corner. Let's try to get to our spot. Zombie, please leave me alone. Back off. And we got it. So it can be a little risky to get to the spot if you're going to train them up, but I recommend having a decoy or frenzy guard to slow them down or keep them away. Aether Shroud could work too, but be careful of teleporting out of the area. Well, this is pretty sick. I was not expecting this to work at all. Let's see how this works with doors open and power. I want to see how abominations react to this. I wonder if the abominations stop as well, or if they'll just shoot you off the spot and ruin it. Let's find out. They will lift and lock down, grabbing Pack-A-Punch just because. All right, there's a Mimic here. Let's see how this Mimic reacts. Oh, Mimic stays still too. It's like everything pauses. The zombies have no idea where you're at. This is sick. Oh, so what you could do is take one step forward, wait for the zombies to walk up. Take a few steps back. Just make sure you don't fall. And then they all stop. Okay, but I fell. Gonna take a little getting used to. Let's try this. One step forward. One step back. <laughs> one step forward. One step back. Oh no. You gotta really be gentle with that step back. We can also try this. I saw in the video they were using toxic growth. So what we could do is set up a toxic growth right here in this corner like I saw in the video. Another one up here on the stairs, and then, I don't know, like one in between those spots? That way you you have a little bit of a buffer to try to find the spot and get situated without absolutely just getting plastered in this corner. Oh, we got an abomination to spawn? Looks like the abomination's ignoring it right now. I still see it moving. Does it know where we're at, though? 
It's kind of just walking around. Okay, no, I think the abomination sees us. That's a big uh-oh for that spot. Especially if you you don't have stamina up and you don't have it tiered up, you're going to take fall damage there. So be aware that abominations will come up and blow up your spot, like literally. I guess it's not too bad because if you're up there and no zombies are coming after you, it's just the abomination. You can kind of just focus it. We can just sit here and shoot it in the mouth. There we go. Ring of fire would be perfect for right now, but we're trying out the toxic growth strat. Go ahead and shoot me. Can't kill me in one burst. It can just sit there and get shot at. Blow up its other head. Oh, and it can't even really get to me. All right, maybe it can. It's right on top of me. Okay, that wasn't that bad. So I just take one little baby step forward. One little baby step back. Maybe two. And you can get all the zombies to move up to you. That spot is insane. I wish I had more camos to grind. Let's put our other toxic growth down. I can't deploy it on the stairs. All right, well, well, we'll deploy it close to it. And then for our third toxic growth, uh, we'll probably just put it like right here in between these two. Or as close as we can get it. There we go. Now let's see if the toxic growth helps out enough to give us enough time to get into that spot. So I'm going to train the zombies up, act like I'm running from a horde. I got no decoys, no stuns, no field upgrade to help me get away from the zombies. Or at least no field upgrade ready to use. So if we run this way, does this give us enough time to get to our spot? We can just walk up, patiently walk over, and they're already stuck. Perfect. I'd recommend trying to jump up from here and then just hugging the, the bridge and trying not to fall off like that. Okay, perfect. I had it so good the first time. Okay, let's see if we can do this one try. Hop here. Walk towards the bridge until I'm like right about here. So once my left foot is floating right next to this thing, that's how you know you've done it. And the zombies will kind of just like not move. So you'll also know that you've done it that way as well. Now I'm thinking out loud here, but if you had a second player who, you know, wasn't really too into zombies or wasn't playing the game too much. You could just have them stand right here in a two-player game. They could have healing aura. And you can just go around grinding camos. You'll get double the spawn since there's two people. And anytime you go down or something, they can just heal you. Because none of the zombies will be chasing them here. All the zombies will be coming for you. So you get camos at like double the rate. Anyways, I thought this was pretty cool. I thought I should show you guys since I've been shown it. Again, shout out to Sad Quotes on Twitter and at Razzle on TikTok. I'll throw their ads on the screen one more time. Make sure you go check those guys out. Well, that's where we're gonna end today's video. So if you like this, you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. If you're new here, please start subscribing for all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And if you're using this spot, let me know what kind of strats you're using. I wanna know how efficient we can make this. But that's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.